everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this bubble tea memo holder and it's made out of resin and polymer clay and as you can see it can hold little memos like this business card. So pretty much this is what it looks like. It looks pretty realistic to me and when I posted on Instagram most people didn't know it was fake. For the cup I'm just using this plastic cup that I got from the dollar store and I got 20 for a dollar I think and pretty much we're going to turn this clear cup into this boba cup. Now what I did was I cut up some black polymer clay to form the tapioca bobas or the tapioca bubbles. Now if you don't want to waste uh, your black clay, you can always use scrap clay and paint it black if that's something you want to do. But I didn't want to bake the polymer clay balls because I found it easier to stick to the cup by not baking them and since they're at the bottom and the resin is going to harden over it, you don't technically need to bake them. So I chose to keep it black. And pretty much you're going to put the bubbles on the side of the cup so that when you pour the resin over you can still see them kind of floating around at the bottom and this is pretty much what it looks like i did fill the bottom of the cup with some black clay as well because i'm going to stick my memo clip right in the middle of it and the clay is going to help keep it in place so now you're just going to mix some resin i'm using one to one ratio of epoxy resin and i mixed white red and yellow pigments to form the milk tea color. Now there isn't a proper proportion for this. What I did was I colored it white first and then added very little amounts of red and yellow until I got the color I liked. So as you can see I'm only using this little bit on my toothpick. I didn't really use much more than that and if I needed more then you know it's better to start off a little by little than to go you know all in with a lot of color because then you can mess up and waste your resin. So this is the color I liked. I thought it looked very milk tea colored like. And now you're just going to pour it slowly into your boba cup. And I started in the middle and just slowly poured over it. Here you can see that because we kind of adhered or stuck the tapioca balls towards the side of the cup, you can see the bobas very, very well. And that's why I didn't want to bake the polymer clay. You can if you want, but this is just something that I decided. And pretty much you'd be done if you don't want to add a memo clip in. But two to three hours later, I decided the resin was tacky enough for me to stick the bottom portion of the memo clip into the middle of my cup. And it is going to move around so I decided to use some masking tape as my border and some popsicle sticks to keep it upright. And after waiting 24 hours you're done and this is what your creation should look like. Just like the first boba memo clip one that I made. And these are both available on my Etsy. I only have two. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.